Eco. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words. The words are just gone with it. Enter the world of Eco, a fully simulated ecosystem bustling with thousands of growing plants and animals living their lives. Build, harvest and take resources from an environment where your every action affects the world around you. An imminent meteor strike threatens global destruction. Can you save the world without destroying it in the process? Now guys, before I go any further into this, I just want to say that I was in two minds whether to make this video. You see, this game plays in real time and it lasts 29 days. Then you can start again or it might even keep going. But in 29 days, your world is going to be slammed by a meteorite which will wipe out civilization, probably. You've got to stop it. I haven't got 29 days to wait to get you a freaking review. So I've had to play it for what, 12 and a half hours? And I thought I'd come in here and give you a very early first impressions of this game. Something where you can get the idea, you know, you'll know how it plays, you'll, you'll, you'll have enough information probably to decide whether you want to go and buy it. Now, if I'm able to continue playing the game, and I'll come into that in a minute, I'll give you a final review in 29 days and let you see what happens when the meteorite actually makes contact with the planet or we destroy it or whatever. So, I have my own server. It's open to patrons. So get your asses in, check your messages. You should have a message. And uh, there's, mm, how many slots is that? There's nine spaces free. If you want to come and help me save this meteorite, join in. That was a call for help because there's only me, my girlfriend, and a Frenchman in at the minute. See, that leave me with a French. So what I've gathered from this game is a lot of trees. <laughs> what I gather from this game, guys, is you come into this world. There is not so much as a tent. It is just a natural, uninhabited planet, except for elks, bison, squirrels. I haven't seen a squirrel yet. Uh, rabbits, well, hares, fish, tortoises. You've got all that shit going down, all right? You've got lots and lots of animals and plants, corn, tomatoes, beets. You've got trees. You've got natural minerals. You've got... It's just like, imagine this earth that we live on, but with no people. <gasps> oh, wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that just be great? No, none of these... None of these little social justice freaking people who just annoy you, you know, and change everything. None of these, the beast of the east snowstorms coming. Run for your very lives. Then we get six inches of snow and everybody's crying. So the, the earth has nothing. The earth has nothing. Just the animals and plants and minerals. And what you have to do is you have to decide what profession you're going to do. What are you going to contribute, eh? What are you going to do about it? What? There's a big rock in the sky, you can see it. it. tells you that, you know, it's got an alarm clock attached to it. I'm coming down here in 29 days, 8 hours, 59 seconds. So I decided that I would be a butcher because it is well known that butchers can do almost anything with their sausage. <laughs> I'm a butcher. I'm a hunter butcher. I, I hunt my own game and then I've learned to be a chef with me little fire. I'll feed you. I'll feed you. Want me? You just come and see Mac. Best steaks in freaking town here. You wanna you wanna build laser beams to shoot that down? Hey, you need feeding. It's a valuable, valuable contribution that I'm doing. And I can cook you all kinds of stuff. I've got fishing traps set up. It took me a long time to get there. But we also have a farmer. My girlfriend's a farmer, so between us, we'll keep you fed. We'll keep you fed. Mac and Cass's restaurant, we do the finest steaks. We've got salmon grills. I've just learned a stew. It's a really nice stew. We've got all the vitamins to keep you going. And this is important, guys. Joking aside, bottom left of the screen, you will see like a pie chart you have got your carbs you've got your vitamins you've got your protein and you've got your um just don't find your, and you have to make sure that you keep that as balanced as possible and i'm going to tell you why skill points it's all about the skill points this game because everything needs skill points what do points make prizes that's right you need skill points how do you earn skill points by having a balanced diet because you get paid in skill points by the nutrients in your diet. If you have a balanced diet and you keep yourself well fed, you will earn the maximum amount of skill points over time. 
So when you log in the next morning, if you log off full and fat, fat in the belly with lovely nutrients, when you come in the next day, you will find a shitload of skill points ready to spend. And what do you spend them skill points on? Whatever your profession is. Because to learn your profession costs you. It costs you an arm and a f***ing leg, guys. It costs you your skill points. It really does. It's a huge grind, this game. It is a it is a crafting man's heaven, this. There is so many different tables to craft. I think there's 30, 30 different tables. And hundreds and hundreds of recipes and tears to that like i mean i've never seen so much crafting in my life it is full of crafting but like i said skill points are required to unlock pretty much everything you're going to need hundreds of skill points and at the minute i'm earning not a lot really um a few an hour so it's a big grind it's a it is the grindiest grind you've ever had but it's great fun at times because you see everybody else. Well, there's only three of us. It's one of them games that you need a lot of players and it would be just like, oh, wow, this is so cool. Oh, you're a carpenter. Can you make us a roof and some stairs? Yeah, yeah. If you if you give us a few of them sticks, all right, I'll give you a few of them sticks. You know, you mine, you chop down the trees, you get all the branches off them. You, you have ovens, furnaces. You've got to, you can build roads. You can do engineering and build dams, I think. You've got to pour all your shit into the rivers and pollute. No, you don't do that, sorry, but you can but you shouldn't but that's why we have a government you have a government and you set up your own laws and you say hey no hey nonny no we aren't going to allow you to dump your toxic shite in there mr toxic man you're not you're not gonna you have to dispose of it better so go and see the engineer see if he can craft you something to dispose of it a little bit better than what you're doing instead of dumping it all in my freaking river which runs through my farm and pollutes my freaking crops that's the way the game is and you have a shop and you sell your shit and you set your own prices up. Oh, you need some you need some leather, dear, for your for your clothes making. Okay, there, there's the leather, that's how much it is in my shop. Come and buy it. It's that kind of whole economy, hence the name Eco. And guys, on paper, it is one of the most ambitious games I've ever seen. And it does work, apparently. I just haven't had the opportunity yet to see it in We've just got a little corner. We've just got a corner shop that sells steaks, but we're imaginable, we're dreamers, we're dreamers, guys. We can't, I'm dreaming, when I look out of my house, I dream, I dream of industry, I dream. Build it and they will come, the words said. The words in my dreams, build it and they will come. And we've got a Frenchman. Anyway, guys, there you go. The game is grindy, but the game is fun. But it is sadly, sadly, I've got to drop the bombshell. It is buggy as f it is buggy, guys. I couldn't even get in for the first hour. Every time I try to search for a game, it crashes. Yet, my girlfriend's is fine. Hers doesn't crash. Mine crashes, hers doesn't crash. And there's some holes in the scenery that you can fall through to your doom. Other than that, you can't die. You can't die. You can leap off cliffs. You can get right next to bison, shooting arrows at them. It's It needs work. It's early access. It needs work. And if I had to see right now... Is it worth a buy? No, it's not, because it's 21 effing quid. If it was 14.99, if it was 10.99, I'd say, yeah, it is. It's worth it because it can be great, and I can imagine how good this is. But it's actually 23.79. That's even worse. So, yes, it'll have took a long time to build, but hey, when it's finished, it might be worth 23.79. But at this moment in time, it isn't finished. There's a lot of bugs. It isn't quite worth a buy yet, but hey, keep an eye out in 29 days when that meteorite is due to land in Maxville. I'll hopefully come back with an updated video telling you if the final version is worth a buy. That's if we get a few more people playing. So there you go. At this moment, just not quite there yet.